I'm Simon Fisher, and I'm the navigator on Vestas 11th Hour Racing. Being a navigator is a pretty interesting role, to be honest, because uh, there's lots and lots of different areas you kind of have to cover. You've got to be sort of proficient in uh, all the boat electronics, uh, the weather, understand boat performance and data analysis, and, uh, and yeah, it helps to be a good sailor and uh, be able to pull your weight on deck as well. So, uh, yeah, certainly the big draw for me is uh, there's so many different elements to it and, uh, and pulling all that together and, and sort of trying to provide a complete package is, uh, is what makes it really quite interesting. Once we get offshore and into the oceanic legs, I'm in the four hours on, four hours off watch system, but uh, typically um, I'll spend maybe half an hour before my watch and the first 20 minutes of my watch down here in the nav station, checking the weather, checking the performance, uh, checking that our strategy and our game plan are, are all on track and then I'll try and get on deck, do a bit of sailing, and at the end of the watch I'll, I'll come down and, uh, and, and brief the guys that are coming onto deck and, uh, and yeah, keep, keep working away if there's something, uh, something that needs, to, needs my attention or is the situation developing. The uh, main electronic system on the boat is a uh, WTP3, which is uh, just hidden around the back here with all the other electronics, and then uh, around about the boat we've got lots of uh, H5000 displays, Zeus plotters and then uh, we've got two laptops here in the nav station as well where we can uh, run all the navigation software like, uh, like Deckman. Really with that and combined with all the, the comms equipment which uh, gives us, us the satellite access to download the weather, that's how we uh, you know, get the information in and, and analyse it all on the fly.